every animal's mouth is, a, is dirty. Um, the cats do have a lot of bacteria in their mouth, just like humans and, and other animals do. Um, the cat's teeth being so sharp, it, it does it can act like a needle and just seed that bacteria deep into the joint or the tendon sheath, and, um, and it can grow there. There is one particular bacteria that's common in cats that can be particularly difficult to uh, treat with antibiotics, and, um, and the patients that need surgery sometimes have to go for repeated, repeated operations. So I think just when you see a cat bite, the cat's teeth are so sharp, it usually just looks like a, a, you know, a, a little pinprick, uh, which can not be too impressive to, to look at. Uh, the dog bites can be more impressive just because they are, have, um, their teeth aren't as sharp and they have more of a tearing uh, kind of effect on, on the tissue. The cat bites look very, very benign, um, but, but as we know and as what the study shows, that it, they are not uh, and they can be very serious. Usually just what we call an incision and drainage, so we would have to open up the area that's bitten and wash it out. If the joint is involved, we have to actually open up the joint. If the tendon sheath is involved, we have to open up the tendon sheath and wash that out. And sometimes, um, even after doing so, we keep them in the hospital, keep an eye on it, and maybe have to go back uh, for, for repeated washouts. I have seen cases where even the tendons are, uh, are destroyed as a result of the uh, infection going on for so long. Um, and in that case, you need more uh, re or reconstructive surgery in addition to uh, just the washout procedures.